Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use Avada Studio headers. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. If you're still using an options based header, it's time to start using Avada layouts and create a custom header. And there's no easier way of doing that than starting with an Avada Studio header. Ok, I'm on the Como Farm website I built previously. To see that, check out the two part video series called How to Customize Avada Pre-built Websites, linked below. So here I've set this site back to have an options based header. That means the header design and all the header content are coming directly from the global options. It's a good enough system, and there are indeed a lot of options for you to create a nice header. But it's a legacy method, and using Avada layouts gives you infinitely more freedom, and Avada Studio offers over 40 pre-built headers to get you started. So let's have a look at how easy it is to change from an options based header to an Avada Studio header on your website. If you're new to Avada layouts, please follow the links under the video to get a broad understanding of how layouts work. But in a nutshell, for a header, you need to create a header layout section, populate it with your header design, and then apply that header layout section to a layout, most likely the global layout, which is used on all pages of the site. So the first thing I have to do with this site is to create a header layout section for my new header. I'll just go to layouts, layout sections, and choose header as the layout section type. I'll call this main header, and click on create new layout section. You can also just hit enter. Ok, so here I have a blank header layout section. You can of course build a header from scratch, but the easy move here is to import one of the 40 plus pre-designed headers from Avada Studio. So here I will click on Avada Studio, and because this is a header layout section, that's what appears in the Avada Studio tab. There are currently over 40 headers with all different styles and functionality. As you can see, you can use the filters in the sidebar to narrow down to the specific style of header you are after. For this site, I'm looking for a shop type header, and one that has the logo centered. So I'll filter to shop and have a look. There are 3 or 4 here that look close to what I want, and I can just preview them to check further. This one looks a bit busy for my site, so I will just go back. But this one looks like it might work. You can of course change the style to your local typography and colours. And yeah, I think this one will do splendidly. So I'll just import that. And after a few seconds it comes into the builder. So the best thing about using Avada layouts is that you can fully customise your header layout. And the best thing about Avada Studio is that you can generally find something where you don't need to customise much at all. Here, for a start, I'll just add my logo. I'll remove that, and add my own, and here I will select this one. I can see there is an image max width set here already, so I will go to the design tab, and I think I'll just adjust that to about 120 pixels. I think I might also reduce the padding on this logo container to 20 pixels top and bottom. And on the background tab, I will set the colour to colour 3. Ok, for the top container, I think I will change the background colour there to colour 5. And I will now need to change the colours of the internal elements to colour 1. So I will change the text block here in the middle to colour 1. The social link icons to colour 1. And the menu icons here to colour 1. Now this WooCommerce menu here is displaying the header blocks menu cart menu, which was imported with the header. And I think that one looks better than the one I previously had, so I will use that. And for the main menu, I will need to get this to display my own main menu instead of the one the example used. So here I will select the Como Farm main menu. While I'm here, I will also have a look at the main menu hover colour. And yes, here I will change that to colour 5. And I might also add 5 pixels top border, and change the border colour to colour 5. And set the menu hover transition to centre horizontal. Ok, yeah, that's looking pretty smart, and with minimum customizations required. Another thing that's great about studio headers, is that they have also been designed with responsive sizes in mind. So if I just use the shortcut shift P to go into preview mode, I can look at the header in various screen sizes. It doesn't change for the medium screen view, but when I select small screen, we can see that now the main menu is iconized, and that both menus now sit in the main container with the logo. That is achieved with duplicate elements and element visibility. If we just go back to large screen view for a second, and look at the main menu container, down a bit on the general tab, we can see that container visibility has been turned off for small screens. So there, this container just won't display. Similarly, if we now go back to small screens and head to the navigator, 
and look in the main container, we can see that there are in fact three elements in here, but as we saw on desktop and medium screens, only the logo displays. On small screens though, the other elements appear. This is achieved on the columns themselves with the column visibility option, where it is set only for small screens for these two menus. As well, these are separate menu elements here, and so we would also have to edit these menus and choose the appropriate ones. Again, I'm happy with the Woo one, so I'll just edit the main menu and select my own menu to display there. I can also see a couple of small changes I want to make here as well. So on the mobile tab of the menu element, I will adjust the mobile menu trigger bottom margin to 45 pixels, and at the bottom, I will set the active mobile menu background color to color 5, and the active mobile menu text color to color 1. I'll just preview that, and yeah, that's all good. Okay, so let's come back to the desktop view and save this. So now, to make it active on our site, we just need to open up Avada Layouts, and in the global layout, I'll just select a header and an existing section, and choose my main header layout section. That auto saves, so now we can go back to the home page and refresh. And there it is. Now the site has a fully flexible and customizable header, and it took us less than five minutes, thanks to a pre built header from Avada Studio. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.